So now let us take a look into our different type of microcontroller that is Arduino Uno. Arduino is the company which makes this particular microcontroller that is Uno. That is Arduino Uno. Now Arduino makes different variants of this particular microcontroller like Arduino MKR0, Arduino Nano, Arduino Mega and so on and so forth. But the most basic microcontroller with high functionality is Arduino Uno. Now before looking into the details of Arduino Uno, let us try to understand how exactly is it different from the ESP8266 that we already discussed. Now Arduino Uno is a simple microcontroller without the onboard Wi-Fi ability, unlike the ESP8266 which has onboard Wi-Fi capabilities. So if it is used alone, Arduino Uno cannot be a part of the IoT network as it will lack the connectivity to the internet aspect. If it has to be involved, or it, it has to be included in the IoT system, a Wi-Fi module has to be integrated along with this externally and then it can be a part of the entire IoT network. So let us look in a little bit into the details of this particular microcontroller. The overall functionality of this microcontroller is same or is very similar to that of ESP8266 because bottom line being both of them are microcontrollers. The differentiating factor being the connectivity to the internet which if it is covered by connecting an external module in case of Arduino Uno, it makes both of them equivalent. So Arduino Uno is a microcontroller board based on the Atmega 328 chip. You don't need to know anything about the Atmega 328 chip. It's just for information purpose. Now Arduino Uno has 14 digital input output pins out of which six can be used as PWM outputs. That is pulse width modulation outputs and six can be used as analog inputs. A 16 megahertz quartz crystal is also present on board this Arduino Uno. A USB connection and a power jack is also a part of this setup. An ICSP header and a reset button are also a few important things which are present on the board. Now in order to use Arduino Uno, one has to simply connect it to the computer using a USB cable in order to power it and or we can also power it with the help of an AC to DC adapter to get started. So this microcontroller is widespread and it has many applications especially for beginners. It is used not only in the IoT domain but also in the embedded system domain and for the beginners and the enthusiasts in the embedded system society. So before continuing our discussion we need to understand the fact that how exactly are these two uh, microcontrollers that is ESP8266 and Arduino Uno different. As already mentioned, I would like to reiterate it because it is quite important to understand this point that Arduino Uno let alone cannot be a part of the IoT network. It has to have the capability to connect to the internet just like all the other inanimate objects in order to be a part of the IoT network. And since alone it lacks the ability to connect to the internet, it is not a direct candidate for an IoT microcontroller. The direct candidate for an IoT microcontroller is ESP8266 because of its onboard Wi Fi capabilities. The rest functionalities are very similar, and as you can see on the pinout, there are different digital pins on the right, analog pins on the right, on the left, sorry, there are different voltage pins 3.3, 5 volt, ground volt, etc. And the overall structure looks very similar to that of the ESP8266. 